Let us again consider a random variable that takes on values between zero and one. And let's try to maintain the intuition that all outcomes are equally likely. We've problematized that intuition because this is always true for any continuous variable. Every outcome has a probability of zero, but let's try to use it as a guideline. And instead of asking what the probability is that we select a specific number, let's ask the following question. What is the probability that the random variable falls into this little interval? Well, the interval from point 0.4 to point 0.5 takes up 10% of this interval. So if we're thinking that all the numbers are equally likely, there's nothing stopping the random variable from being in here then over the long run, about 10% of the outcomes should fall in this interval. So our intuition suggests that the probability should be a 0.1. In general, If instead of this specific interval, you're looking at just some interval from A to B contained in this larger interval, the probability should be the length of the smaller interval divided by the length of the larger interval. And let's now relate to this back to integration. B minus A, as it happens, can be thought of as the integral from A to B of 1 dx. And this is not a coincidence. Integration is precisely the tool we use to discuss continuous probability distributions. Definition. A probability density function is a function on some interval. This interval could be finite, or A could be negative infinity, and or B could be positive infinity. And the probability density function to be a probability density function needs to have three properties. First, it can never be a negative. Two, it has to be continuous, except perhaps at a finite number of values. 
finally, the integral of a probability density function over the entire interval has to be one. A probability density function gives us a way of discussing the probability that a randomly selected number falls between two other numbers. That is to say, if we select a number at random and we want to know what the probability is that it's between M and N, like up here, when we asked what the probability is that it's between 0.4 and 0.5, well, it's the integral from M to N of the probability density function. And probability density functions aren't unique. You have more, really, an infinite number of possible probability density functions on an interval. So if someone asks what the probability is that an event occurs, well, first you have to figure out what the probability density function is. And we'll state three common probability density functions, exponential, uniform, and normal. Although we'll spread that out over the section, we won't get to all of those immediately.